Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The next option that I have is Loop. What Loop actually does, it allows you to pick a specific entity. Note that this floor, for example, I would like to have a chain that goes all around this floor, but this floor is also slanted. The easiest way to pick this particular floor is not by going around and clicking each one at a time because although there aren't that many elements over here, but still painstaking. And also imagine this was a floor that had many elements. It would take us a long time. Now, if this floor has one chain that connects all around, as shown over here, I can choose the option of loop, click on the entity over here, for example, and it shows me two options. This loop naturally can go around this way or around as shown over here. The two possible loops that can be built from that particular element. All I have to do is hit any of the areas of that loop. I can even click it over here and it will automatically accept that loop. And as you see now, we have another chain over here. Next, we have the option of point to point. Now, say I want to create a geometry that goes from this edge over here down to here. Now, if I were to choose the option of curve, I can pick this as my geometry. But now that I want to get to this point over here, I can't pick another curve because there's nothing going, connecting these two areas. So the way I can easily do that is just pick point to point and click on this point over here and it'll go from where that point left off until the next point creating a straight line between two points which is the shortest possible path what i could have also done was simply choose point to point in the very beginning click on this point over here and then click on this point over there and as you can see my geometry has been created between two points i'll click on ok to accept the chain and note we have now another chain over here now you can also note that with this chain it is represented by this decal over here this sign over here showing it as an open chain as compared to this sign over here is showing it as a closed chain. Now, next I'd like to show you the option of arc by points. Now, there are times when you may get a part that looks something like this, which is not really an arc over here, but rather a series of lines. I've actually made this over here a little bigger so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. This may happen also many times when you import a part from an IGES, for example, where it may seem like it's an arc, but it's really just a series of lines. Now, there are, if I were to make this geometry one line after the other, then what would happen is you would also not get the nicest surface that you want over here, the actual arc surface that you want. So what we can do over here is use the option of arc by points. We all know that when you have an arc, if you have three points, there's only one arc that can go through those three points. And with that theory, it's exactly what we are going to be doing here. We're going to be picking three points on this geometry, on the, this area over here, one in the beginning, one somewhere in the middle, and one at the very end in order to create my arc over here. So what I'll do is as follows. I'll choose the option of arc by points and note, and note that at the bottom it says pick the start point. So I'll zoom in over here and for example, pick this point over here as my start point. Then it says pick next point. I'll pick this point over here as my second point. And then I'll pick my third point as it tells me to do so on the bottom at the very end over here, choosing this point over here. When I do this, note, 
an arc is created attaching those three points. Now if I want to continue, I can. I can continue with, for example, curve. Pick this curve over here. That curve over there. And then finish it off by picking this curve over here. And now I have a closed chain as shown over here. Creating an arc out of an area where I really didn't have an arc, but used three points instead. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website, www.solidcam.com, and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.